it's a brand new year, which means a heavy dose of new games to look forward to. While the next generation looms near, Nintendo doesn't seem all that bothered. It has an impressive slate of Switch exclusives coming this year and beyond. So let's take a look at Switch console exclusives that you should definitely look forward to. Animal Crossing New Horizons Don't you just wish you could get away from it all? Tom Nook's deserted island vacation package may be the answer. In Animal Crossing New Horizons, players travel to an island and build their community, chopping wood and crafting tools while fishing and gathering items. The addition of Nook Miles to obtain special items from tasks along with real-world seasons and eight-player online co-op promises an even better experience. The game is out on March 20th. Axiom Verge 2 Thomas Happ's unexpected sequel to the retro Metroidvania classic launches first for the Switch. Set before, and also somehow after the first game, Axiom Verge 2 offers new abilities, new environments, and pretty much new everything. It sees Globe 3 conglomerate owner Indra discovering a strange new world as mysterious voices call out to her. What does it all mean? Well, we'll find out later this year. Bravely Default 2 it's essentially a brand new story with new Heroes of Light venturing forth in a new world. The aesthetic and sense of adventure remain true to the previous games, and Revo also returns to compose the soundtrack. Bravely Default 2 arrives later this year for Switch. Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise. York is back! Well, sort of. Deadly Premonition 2 arrives in 2020 and sees Agent York investigating a serial killer 14 years in the past, while Agent Aaliyah Davis investigates a related case in the present. Jumping back and forth between both time periods, players will garner clues to solve the cases from both heroes and ultimately reveal their connection. Eastward Developed by Pix Pill, Eastward is a role-playing game that channels the atmosphere and aesthetics of 90s anime. It sees a miner, John, discovering a strange girl named Sam. Soon enough, strange monsters begin attacking the various towns and it's up to the player to find out what's going on. With excellent visuals, an intriguing cast of characters, detailed dungeons and puzzles, and much more, Eastward could be a sleeper hit. No More Heroes 3 Travis Touchdown returns to Santa Destroy, but doesn't have much time to relax. An interdimensional being known as F.U. quickly arrives with eight powerful alien assassins and seems intent on conquering the world. It's up to Travis to go through the ladder of enemies, likely with the help of new moves and old allies. No More Heroes 3 is currently slated to release this year. Rune Factory 5 not much has been revealed thus far about Rune Factory 5, though its character design seems on point as always. One thing that's guaranteed is that Switch players won't get their hands on it before April 2020. It's still slated for this year though, so if you're itching for some Harvest Moon-like gameplay with a healthy dose of action, it might be worth the wait. Sports Story as the follow-up to Sidebar Games' golf story, Sports Story aims to go even further beyond, incorporating numerous sports into its tennis gameplay. In essence, it's a mashup of genres as players work towards participating in a DECA sportathon, complete with rivals, playing mini-games, exploring dungeons, and even fishing. Sports Story releases in mid-2020. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition more of a remake than a port or remaster of the Wii Classic, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition looks simply amazing. Focused on the war between the descendants of two titans, Xenoblade Chronicles offers an extensive scale, a real-time battle system with attack chaining, and a memorable story. The Definitive Edition also seems to contain cut content, restored in all of its glory. It's out in 2020 for Switch. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel a follow-up to one of the greatest games ever made, and it doesn't even have a proper title. No matter though, the sequel promises a darker tone set in the same world, which should be interesting given how grim the original premise was. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, or whatever it ends up being called, is still seemingly a ways off, despite rumors pegging it for a late 2020 release. Expect more details on the story to drop this year, if nothing else. Metroid Prime 4 Restarted in January 2019 with original trilogy developer Retro Studios at the helm, we're no closer to learning about Metroid Prime 4 than before. 
After all, even when initially announced at E3 2017, we had nothing more than a title to go off of. Regardless, with Retro returning, we could have another masterpiece worthy of the Prime name. All that's left to do is wait. Bayonetta 3 Despite Bayonetta 3 receiving next to no gameplay footage or details since its initial trailer, Platinum Games has assured fans that development is going well. Could 2020 finally be the year that we learn more? Will we finally learn about the Umbro Witch's fate? Is it realistic to expect a release this year? Once again, we'll have to wait and see for ourselves. Shin Megami Tensei 5 After the massive success of Persona 5, all eyes are on Atlas to deliver with its next RPG opus. Shin Megami Tensei 5 takes place in present-day Tokyo and is developed on Unreal Engine 4. Overall, we're liking the look of the game and the prospect of fusing demons is interesting. Atlas has promised more details this year, but we wouldn't be surprised if it slipped into 2021. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.